All right, guys. So in this lecture, we're gonna have to set up all our tools first before we can actually start writing our SAS code. So first of all, what we need is a text editor that allows us to not only write our SAS code, but also to compile it and create the appropriate CSS code from it. So in this lecture, we're gonna install Sublime Text as our text editor for this course, which is a really popular and powerful text editor that comes with a lot of plugins, uh, including ones for SAS, SCSS, and so on. So we're gonna be able to use it for all the languages we're gonna see in this course, including HTML, CSS, SAS, and SCSS code, so that we can then start skyrocketing our productivity when writing CSS code. So let's go ahead and go to the Sublime Text website over here. The link to this website is in the lecture material, so you can just click there and you're gonna get redirected to the correct site right away. If you go to the sublimetext.com website itself, it's gonna get you to this page where you can download Sublime Text 2. But what we wanna do is we're gonna go down here to Sublime Text 3, the new version. So make sure there's a 3 over here and I'll put this link in the lecture resources so you can just use that right away. And now on this page, you just choose the distribution for your operating system. So if you're using a Mac, you have your Sublime Text Editor right here. On Windows, you can choose either of these depending on whether you're using a 32-bit computer or 64-bit system. And similarly, for Ubuntu, you can get your dev files right here. Or for other Linux distributions, you can check out this tar file right here. So in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and download this Windows 64-bit version. I'm gonna say save file, and now it's gonna download the installer for you. Now, once the download has finished, we can either run our installation file right from inside our browser, or we can check our downloads folder and then run it from there. Now, on a Windows system like mine, once we run our installation file, it's gonna take us to this installation wizard and we can just go through the installation steps here, choose a folder to install it to, click next, and just follow the instructions. And that's it, that only took around 10 seconds or so, and Sublime Text 3 is now ready to go. So we're gonna hit finish. So now we can go ahead and run Sublime Text. And once we do that, we come into this window right here, which is our text editor, so we can write our code here and save our files and so on. Everything you know from a normal text editor. So now, as I told you, there are many, many plugins available for Sublime Text. And for this course, we're also gonna have to install several plugins. So we're gonna install a package manager first. That's gonna make it really simple for us to install and remove packages like those. So let's go back to our browser for a second. We can install this package manager really simply by just going to this site, packagecontrol.io, which is also just a plugin for Sublime Text that takes care of package installations. And this link, of course, is also in the lecture material, so you can just check it out there, click on it, and you're gonna get right to this page. Now for Sublime Text 3, you're just gonna copy this code right here, which is gonna install this package manager and now we can go back to Sublime Text. And here we can now go to View, Show Console, and inside here, we can just copy that code, hit Enter, and that's gonna run all the code inside there, which is just gonna install this Package Manager plugin for us. Now during the installation, it's gonna print some messages into the console right here. And now we can check if this all worked by pressing Control shift p and here you can now type in install and it should show up with package control install package. And also if we type in remove, we're gonna have this option to remove packages, which is an option that this package control plugin gives us. So let's go ahead and install, hit enter to install package. So now our package control plugin comes up with this huge list of plugins that are available for Sublime Text. And we can filter them by just typing in the name of the plugin that we want. And the first plugin we want to install is simply called SAS. So let's type in SAS. And right there, the first thing should be just named SAS without anything else. Now, if you've already used Sublime Text before and this doesn't appear, 
then that's because you already have it installed. So you can check that by typing in remove for remove package and see if the test package comes up, which it should. And then you can just, well, leave it as it is because you already have it. But if you haven't used Sublime Text before, the CES plugin is gonna show up here and we can just press enter to install it. So now this package control plugin is just gonna install all the files we need. And in the bottom left corner, you can track the progress, which is already done now because it was pretty quick. But we can just install the next package, which is called SCSS for the other syntax, which also provides us syntax highlighting, auto completion, and so on for the SCSS syntax. So we can just go ahead, press enter again. And when we do that, you can check in the bottom left corner to see how long it takes to just install the plugin like that. And that's it. That's all it takes to install a plugin using this package control. So it's really awesome. Now let's actually go ahead and install another package, which is called CES build. And that's gonna allow us to generate the CSS code from our CES and well, SCSS code as well. So let's install that as well. And it's already finished as well. So let's go ahead and install the last package for now. And this one is called Emmet. And it's a really awesome plugin. You're gonna see how much simpler it makes all our code creation for us. And in some cases after the installation, you're gonna get this message with just some info about the plugin that was installed. So once Emmet is installed, you're probably gonna see something like this as well. And you can press Control W to get rid of this, just like you do in a browser. All right, so now we have Sublime Text ready to go for our CES and SCSS development. So we're gonna have syntax highlighting, we're gonna have auto-completion, we're gonna be able to write our code really fast using this Emmet plugin. I guarantee you, if you've never heard of Emmet before, you're just gonna love it. Now, I wanna quickly mention that if you have any trouble during these installations, please make sure you have a stable and decent internet connection. Because if you don't, you may encounter several issues during this process. So first of all, when you click install package and it takes way too long and comes up with different error messages, that's probably because your internet connection is too slow or too unstable. And also when you want to install a plugin and it takes forever and then finally tells you that there was an error, that's probably also because your internet connection is not stable enough. So please make sure you have decent connectivity and if you do have a good internet connection, but it still doesn't work for you, please let me know in the discussions and I will then help you fix it. Okay, great. So now we have Sublime Text all ready to go. And in the next lecture, we're gonna install CES itself and then we're ready to go and we can create CES code and generate our CSS code from it. So see you in the next lecture.